May the name of the our Lord be magnified. Greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's devotion is from 2nd Kings chapter 20. The topic is simple things humble life. Here we read Hezekiah, the king of Judah, fell seriously sick and he was told by prophet Isaiah that he would die from this sickness. He was only 39 years old and the Assyrians were already very close to him to attack his kingdom. He became more upset and worried when he heard God's word from Isaiah about his health. But he decided to go to God, verse 3. We read that he cried and prayed to God. He clearly knew and was confident that he walked faithfully in all the ways of the Lord with integrity. So he went to God with full confidence and trust. in his promise under the old covenant claiming the promise god immediately answered his prayer god added 15 more years to his life god used very simple in those days very common thing like figs to heal him we have a lesson to learn here sometimes we we will miss this kind of blessings from god to recognize and acknowledge that it is from god we usually keep looking for great signs from god he sometimes brings healing by ordinary things we need to be careful to give glory to god when we are healed quickly or when we are blessed in simple ways we may say the medicine helped when we are healed or we may attribute to our some kind of human efforts when blessings happen in our life thus not honoring god in truth god is behind all our blessings we need to acknowledge our god in all our ways we read that in proverbs chapter 3 hesekai asked for a sign from god about his healing god allowed the sun to go down 10 degrees backward and it happened babylonians the pagans heard about this change in their sun dial and they saw that and the king of babylon sent messengers to hesekai they came to see him not to sympathize with him for his sickness but they had a bigger hidden political plans behind this action in verse 15 we read hesekiah showed off all his great treasures in his house out of his pride verse 16 through 18 we read isaiah prophesied one day babylon will take everything to babylon and judah will go captive because of ezekias pride upon hearing this ezekias said okay it doesn't happen in his lifetime but when we go to second chronicles chapter 32 verse 26 we read that hesekia and his people upon hearing this prophecy from isaiah they humbled and prayed what happened was that as a result the wrath of the lord did not happen in the days of hezekiah god allowed this testing in hezekiah's life In 2 Chronicles chapter 32 verse 31 we read allowing Babylonians to come to his house so that he might know and bring out to light to Hezekiah all that was in his heart Dear my listeners beloved sisters as we all know pride is very dangerous God hates but when we humble and repent Our loving God shows mercy and grace. We need to be humble. Need to live a humble life. Another lesson from here is not to keep looking always for bigger signs and miracles 
from god god works in numerous ways even using simple things for his glory so simple things for his glory we should not miss out to acknowledge god and his power when he bless us in unexpected ways even using ordinary things we need to honor god for our every blessings both great and small and live in humility may the good lord bless us with this small devotion